this bloke needs no introduction. One of the all-time greats. Absolutely all-time greats. Superstar with North Melbourne. Superstar with the West Coast Eagles. Please make him welcome, Mr Ross Glendanning, everybody. <laughs> Show. We love watching you play your this? footy. Yeah, we're going to roll some highlights of you in a moment. We've had great fun this week yeah. going through your 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 highlights. This could have gone on for about an hour. There's some just great grabs, great goals, packed marks, running in straight lines. It's just incredible stuff. Is Run it, and carry. Is it boom? That your West, the West Australian side of origin, East Perth, made it pretty difficult for you to get across to North Melbourne. Originally, Andy, they did. They said that uh, you haven't played enough games with us, so they said uh, we'll block the, the move for you to go to North. So I sat out of footy for probably <laughs> from uh, it's a gazelle. about eight months. And uh, what's Bruce Adamanathy doing there? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the way. Get out of the way. So I sat out of footy for about six months, Andy, and then uh, they said we'll clear Good if you grab. play the last few games for East Perth, and it started in 78. Was there any... How were you feeling coming from the waffle to the VFL? In your mind, no problems about... Oh, no, no, Sam, it was pretty, uh, it was a big challenge because they, you, I'd come over for about a couple of weeks prior to that and you go into the sort of grounds like Arden Street mm. or Moorabbin or Glen Ferry and they were just bog heaps. You're used to yeah. the big wide open spaces of the West Australian grounds and they were, they were big men yeah. and I was, I was a lad. Uh, a bit taller, but it's quite intimidating. I mean, you meet Keith Gregg or John Burns or Wayne Schimmelbush mm. or that mm. ilk of player. Person. Are you intimidated right now? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> did, I was about to say, sitting here. <laughs> sitting yeah. here, eh? You're, yeah. in, you're in a pack mark situation here. You, now, I, I love talks. <laughs> yeah, the professor of torpedoes. I love torpedoes, yeah. and to me, it's, it's a forgotten part of the game, and you were just a magnificent oh, exponent of it. Look at this. Boom shakalaka. What about the, the old southern stand up there in the background? Have a look at this on the run. Degree of difficulty. Torp on the run. Bang! Look at that. That is just gone. And this is one of my favourites as well. This is on a soggy day, and that ball would have been weighing twice Look at as much. That. And it just keeps going. Uh, magnificent. Round of applause. Where did you find that? Mate, I'm about to whittle that down. Did, you, did it just go straight to your mind? I'm on here. I'm going to go. Well, what was the decision-making process? Uh, too far out for a, uh, a drop point, <laughs> so just go to the Don't want to dish it off. Yeah, no, well, so you've worked crack. hard to get it. Just have a crack. You Did you practice so much, though? Like... We were allowed to early, Andy. We were, like, at uh, junior footy, kick the torb uh, and a drop kick, <laughs> yep. which I can say, which... Whew. Won't go back there, but no. the tour was you were taught how to do it properly, yeah. and my dad was actually a fair exponent of kicking your footy, so I got taught early. Young age to and we were allowed to do them. Yeah, so uh, yeah. you've had we on before, David Weir punk. Yeah, right. We used to kick them out from full back as a from a point, and he was a great exponent. He as was well. indeed. Well, there was a great tour. Now this drives me mad. There was a great tour. You don't see many in the modern game. There was a great one last week by Seedsman oh, for yeah. Adelaide, and this thing did not get right. Look at this. It's quarter time. It's after the siren. And this is boom! This is why you go to the footy. To see stuff like that, that did not get nominated at any point for goal of the Is that week. a fact? There's not. They, they had all the goals of the best goals, and somehow that did not make the cut. I want an explanation or an apology. <laughs> no, that, that, but that is... You make a really... You have valid. my number. But why is no, that, that's a really valid point. There's got to be point. no greater opportunity to... It should have been touched to... on the line. It should have been touched on the line. You've changed. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great kick. What are kick. you getting upset at Ross for? He wasn't on the panel this week. I don't I know. Seen, I've been telling you this up since you found out that the big W scores, uh, spells were closing. <laughs> hey, um, I wanted to ask, so you were, su you were such a versatile player. Did, did, did coaches ever have a you know, have problem deciding where to play you, centre-half, back, centre-half, forward? Uh, look, I was quite happy to play either side, Sam, and either end, I should say. And there was there was a game that Brassy said that um, <laughs> would you mind with Arden Street, a bit of a wind blowing down towards the Fogarty Street end, which Fantastic. is the, the the freeway, and if you like, Mick. Yep. Um, and uh, he said just play half forward flank, half back flank. So just stay in the same spot. So. I did that, and the Essendon blokes were a bit confused, and our boys were saying, mate, you're supposed to be going back up the other end at quarter time, and I just stayed in the same spot and managed to... I wanted to... you where the ball was. Yeah. So, so well, it's it was... either genius or you're just lazy. <laughs> lazy. <laughs> lazy. I didn't have a pre-season mix, so I was a bit weary. All right. But you it worked out. You mentioned Barras just then. He, you played under some great coaches, but Barras yeah. is the biggest name that you played under. What, what, what was he like? What, what... 
Um, quite vitriolic, uh, quite acerbic, if you like. Yeah. Um, was... Did you have a copper spray? Did you yes. Cop, did but you cop one? I did, but I learned early. Um, I probably can't repeat it, Mick, because it was quite... <laughs> yeah, in today's age... Oh, no, we're on late, can't. thanks to MK. But, <laughs> I, 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 well, there you go. <laughs> the best piece of advice I got was from Malcolm Blight, who was on the end of a few good oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> brassy sprays, was at quarter and three-quarter time, don't ever, if things aren't going well... Don't get to the huddle early. Right. Your shoelaces, your mouth guard, water, got a corky, but he still found you. He, he still, still found, found you. Found you. Found. He mustn't have listened to Keith Greek because we're just about to enjoy some uh, some of uh, the oh. great man's finest work. But you are, if you see Ron Barassi, you are front and centre as he, I think he has Keith Gregg riding the gun. Yeah. Uh, just, just enjoy some of Ron Barassi's great, great stuff. Barry, you are a <laughs> I'll tell you why. Keith, you've done a typical bloody thing. The ball's gone over. You could have run and intercepted that first goal, or second goal when it was, and you probably don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? That's bloody right. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, my God. That, that's the fiercest spray I've ever seen from anyone wearing a turtleneck jumper. <laughs> It was hot. <laughs> and there was a spray. No, there was a spray, man. Did he go too? Did he ever go too far? I, Andy, look, he did, and I, well, I thought he did yeah, because yeah. I think there were times when he could have been a bit more instructive, but he oh, did go pretty hard at. Yeah. Wouldn't fly yeah. today, would it? You wouldn't get away today. The kids well, wouldn't Mick, get you, to that, it went they? pretty personal. Yeah. That was some. We can't repeat it, not because I don't want to, but it's just not yeah, appropriate. Yeah, yeah, but it course. went pretty deep. I mean, the, the least I could say was something he used to say, I mean, you're nothing but a, a, a Scotch College softy. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, which yeah. was well, embellished a bit further. Though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, and, I'm not, and that's just that's but, how he was. That would be called prohibitive language or something. <laughs> today, I'm, right. I'm but, sure Mick, if you, said, no, I get it. if you said, Ron, well, can you just give me something constructive <laughs> and we'll move from there, but you never... Never got it. Spoke back to me. Yeah, big hello to all my uh, fellow Scotch alumni. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um... No, I didn't go to Scotch. Hey, uh, you know, this man, we've gone you through... You used to work there, did you? I did. Yes, my family had the cleaning contract. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, the, um... <laughs> you know, we saw the highlights. This man... <laughs> This man could do everything, right? Everything. What a CV. No, you know, everything. The, everything. Uh, we'll get yeah. to the brown low, but yeah. uh, just a wonderful, wonderful player. Yeah. But to me, and, and like I said, it is a massive thrill for us to have you on the show, Ross. But to me, the idea that you, you were such a great player, you could do anything, and to top, it, to top it off all with a unique and magnificent hairstyle, which yeah. I, yeah. I described from the moment I saw it as a tight gentleman's perm. <laughs> <laughs> now, we can't... Oh. Now, we can't see it as much. Those were the no, days. Those were the days. Yeah, Thank they can't me. see it as much, too. But this footy card is a beautiful example of a tight gentleman's oh. room, right? <laughs> now, did you have... Was there other ways you could have gone, Ross, or was it... <laughs> I'm glad we're talking here. Yeah, um, yeah thank you. Um, at its better times, uh, Sam, it was more like a fireman's helmet. You could grow at the front oh, nice. and then at the back. Um, and then if you actually... It was a bit like sort of Nick Natanui's, but not. But if you pulled it a bit longer, it was actually quite lengthy. But was it? No, and it bounced back. So now that it's was, just all gone. So I would take umbrage on... Umbridge. on yeah, on Ross's. That wasn't a perm. That was just a natural curl, no, wasn't it? No, it was just a natural curl. Yeah, yeah. you've been wrong calling You had something it. similar when you had hair. Well, yeah. we all we all, <laughs> well, we all we all went through it. What? No, we all went Pretty through it. Pretty sure that yeah. you had. Oh, back in the day. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 I don't know. Oh. Well, you're laughing at that. Right. What, are you, what are you talking about? Well, mate, I know for a fact that you went through the top never boom phase. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, girls. Dinner's on. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. Well, you played at the highest level. <laughs> yeah, I played at the, <laughs> whatever level gets us to this next one. I played at that, I played it at that level. <laughs> oh. That's just... See? Hey, not as funny, just handsome. Yeah, that actually looks good. <laughs> hey, when you look back at your body of work, the 83 Brownlow, congratulations on winning it. Where does that sit Brownlow, in terms man. of your, your list of career? Oh. That your, that's your wife, isn't it? I love that, <laughs> yeah, no, I love that she that's... went with the same hair as yeah, well. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> it was the same hairdresser. Thank you, mate. <laughs> that, uh, and we're Where... still together. That's good. You remember Excellent. that night clearly? What a great night it was. It was, Mick. It was a, a wonderful night. And I've, I've said a couple of times that um, it, was, it was a... 
enormously special night and the weeks after were fantastic but it's one of those things you can't share with a lot of people Mick, mm. because it's uh, you can't cut into the the 23 blokes or 25 that you played with that year so I'm not going to give it back yeah. no. but um, actually I'm not sure where it is are you serious yeah I, I think it's. I think Big yeah. W was selling it. <laughs> <Yeah>. Speaking, <That's... laughs> speaking of things that you, speaking of things that you can share, uh, state of origin footy back in your day yep. was still king. I mean, obviously winning a, a grand final in a state league was the most important thing. But a lot of kids was... today would never have experienced oh. this, and I just people used to go mad for this, yeah. didn't they? And yeah. Here in Victoria, it was big. Look but at I that. imagine over in Western Australia, this is maniacal stuff, isn't it? Yeah, and it's a Tuesday afternoon as well, too. <laughs> which it was. Is, uh, there's a lot of people that went at school and they were sick that day. Yeah. Um, but. I can tell you that the West Australian boys that played in the VFL at the time um, were hoping they would get selected and play. Yeah. And after the second or third couple of years, you could only pick West Australian, could only pick one player from, from each of the Victorian yeah, clubs. Right. So there were lads like the Cracker Boys at North that um, some old bloke got in front of them. Um, yeah. So they right. missed out a bit. But for me, it was to be able to go home, having played on a Saturday, and some of the boys had played on a Sunday, Craig Holden, who played at Sydney. Sydney played a lot of the games on a Sunday afternoon. They'd fly back, have Monday off, play Tuesday, go back and play again oh, next Saturday. You used to hate but, losing to Western Australia. You, they, well, used, they used to let you know about But there was a, there was a wonderful it. tradition about it, Mick. Yeah, and no, and it, totally. I'm not sure we can get it back. But you know what? I disagree, because I don't think the interest mm. and excitement has waned at good representative oh, good. level. Oh. Have a look. Go the ramps. I mean, look at those pictures. They're magical. I can't. Ross, I'm with Mick. I can't tell the difference no, between that and the old state of origin. You can't get it back. You can never do it. There's not an, oh, there's no not a window saying, for it. I mean, I'm not saying you couldn't, but you need the players to drive it. Yeah. And it's trying to find the fixture too, Andy. Where are you going to play no, that point. game yeah. in the current format of the AFL season mm. and get the right players to play? Yep to buy in and then get the people to support it. We love that Origin was, was big back then. And, uh, it, was, it was unbelievable. Um, I'm not sure, though, that the national anthem was as important back then, uh, <laughs> judging by uh, Channel 7's uh, decision <laughs> to... Uh, well, when the players were lining up for the anthem, what uh, Channel 7 decided to do. <laughs> OK, we'll be back with the first bounce right after this break. In Channel 7's defence, I think that at the time you're the Eurythmics missionary man was the national anthem. <laughs> and that's why they went straight to it. But things are different now, Murray. Is that oh, that's, a, that's a poor decision. Hey, they are very different. Um, some for the good, some for the bad. Hey, can you stick around? There's Hang a whole lot more that we want to talk to. Ross Glendenny well, about. He's going to stick around all well, with him on the other side of this. Ross, you don't... Welcome back to the show. It is the front bar. Thanks to the brewery. Carlton Draft, Ross Glendini, our very special guest. And Ross, you've come at a good night and you're here at a good time. <laughs> Stop playing with those, you little banana, please. It's worth a lot of money. Uh, it's just, it's, it's <laughs> not a close up of, of the banana. <laughs> you can't believe it is took a close up of that. Hey, Ross, we have a great segment here, one that we love. It's called Fresh from the Archives. <laughs> Well, this was an infamous image uh, that we'll never forget from uh, the great ground of Waverley Park. And you were there on this particular night when oh. the lights went out. Let's have a look. They lead by that bare margin, 20 points, but uh, in the context, hello, we might really have a... Oh. Oh. And there it goes. The ground is plunged into darkness. Let the riding begin. Right. It, it goes from a ground to a Lord of the Flies very quickly. You were there. Describe, describe what's going on. <laughs> did, you, did you feel safe? Uh, well, once a... Mick, it was funny because... Uh, what is... They're still in the goal post. Yep. Or the point yep. post. They're, yep. they're still in the point post. They rioted. They set fire to... The, the, there's, did, yeah. there's a bonfire at about yeah. centre half forward, I believe. No, that was right in the middle of the ground. Now, where are the cops when you need them? Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, that'll sort it. A Tirana with two policemen in it. And there's the, <laughs> there's the helicopter. Was it mayhem <laughs> there on the ground? Describe what oh, was going God. on. Uh, what was well, the feeling? I was nervous, uh, Mick, because uh, when the lights did go out, I'm, I'm not great in the dark. And uh, <laughs> I was sitting next to Blighty, and the saving grace was that Blighty had his lighter, the big lighter, <laughs> because he... <laughs> 
Yeah, used to love her right. at the back. Yep, of the he didn't start so, the fire, did he? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. He was he just he got no, and so he's sitting there. We're actually trying to do something with uh, uh. the producer in our ear saying, can you say something? Well, what yeah. are you going to say? Because no one's watching. You were there too, Andy. Andy, were you? Oh, oh, mate, it was pandemonium. Oh, oh there, were, there were fires in the grandstands. There was all sorts of stuff. I mean, it was... It was, for it was cobblers. It, it yeah. was cobblers. <laughs> I thought we were at Moorabbin again. I thought you were at Moorabbin. It was dead. It was, it, was, it was lawless that night. It was out of control. It was. It was dead set out of control. Right. I, uh, just a quick follow-up question. Do you know... Have you ever heard the expression cobblers? <laughs> <laughs> right? It's... It. Uh, I used to like cobblers as a kid. You could buy them too for. No. Uh, if yeah, something's no. a load of cobblers. Yeah, no. So, no. no, no, no. no. Right, okay. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves, everybody, while we sort this out. So, so hey. the, the audience is hoping that the lights go out on this show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, well, you know, you went back to. I saw the news, uh, North Melbourne days, then you went back to West Coast, and then you had the wonderful honour of having a medal named Fantastic after you. Fantastic stuff, in, the Ross Glendening Medal. Yeah. When uh, West, Co West Coast would take on a Fremantle. Mm -hmm. Now, it changed recently to the Glendening Allen yes. medal after... Which is great. Yes, yep. it is great. But happy with that? Oh, very happy. Yep. Oh. No, look... No, it... I don't think you are. <laughs> Why not? I'm just sensing a little bit of... I would love to share it because, in fact, I can quite honestly say if it was actually not had any further, it wasn't presented, I wouldn't be... My ego doesn't go that deep. Fair enough. Well... well... <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> no, you... I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Ross. <laughs> That's what I was supposed to say, wasn't it? <laughs> It's a great, a great honour to have a medal named after you. And in 2002, you had, you had, you uh, awarded famous, the incident. famous, oh. famous awarding the medal to uh, West Coast Michael Gartner. And I will say that uh, it's been a really tough one today. There are three or four players who really could have received the award, but I thought early, particularly when it counted, Michael Gardner showed that he was dominating the big man around the ground. So Michael Gardner. Now, yeah. yep, Ross. Yeah. Why is yes, that? Sam. Why is that footage? Uh, of particular interest to us because Michael Gardner, as we saw, received the medal. Take us through the whole uh, the judging. <laughs> the leader. Yeah. The build up. Well, there were five judges, <laughs> five, five people from the media who were uh, voting uh, on that, 3 2 1. And um, they, they as, go. as, they vote for? Well, it, most had either uh, Andrew, no, Andrew Embley or Ashley Sampy as the likely winners. Yep. And as I was walking around the yeah, ground... Five of them Sampy as well. OK. Uh, <laughs> by, by a vote. Yeah. And uh, with absolute due respect to Ashley Sampy, you know, I've seen him a few times <laughs> since. <laughs> we were walking down... And Graham Wood was the uh, state manager of, uh, of uh, CB at the time. Oh, and I said, oh, Woody, I'm not... I don't, I'm not sure. I, think, I reckon the garden has been the one that's probably had the influence when it was really important. So... I thought, oh, well, excuse me, I just said, oh, bugger, I'm just going to go with uh, Gardner. So, normally, like nowadays, I have nothing to do with that and I don't, I don't say anything, and, which is the oh, right thing. And, and they just... Oh. And, so well... The, the judges the, thought it was Ashley Sampy, right? Yeah. Uh, and you just decided that Michael... With Michael... Embl uh, Michael... Andrew Embley, very close. And you said, no, no, Michael Gardner. And so those judges probably would have thought that they had, you know, that they yeah. had some sort of say... And they didn't, did they? Do you remember they? there was a... I think, I think your word was, it's my medal. I'll do it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a bit of that already. There's, there's, that? there's a bit of that. That's, well, That's the way it should be. Hey. There was a bit of that and there was <laughs> uh, there was a few media people on the Monday and the Tuesday that... Um, <laughs> I've never had so many phone calls in my life. And in fact, <laughs> one of the opposition stations did ring and say, we need you to come on and uh, talk about this. And I thought, you've got to be kidding. Yeah. Uh, I really, It wasn't being clever. And in fact, uh, I thought, well, one bloke... Actually, one part, one fellow in the media called me uh, racist. Okay, oh, yeah. that's, and that's and that's where it got to. And yep. I thought this is quite pathetic. So, yep. Yep. needless to say, I have never voted <laughs> or said anything different since. But yeah, okay. I like I like that Gardner wasn't even in the top two. <laughs> <laughs> it was Sampy and Embley. <laughs> individual awards are very nice, but it's about premierships that we play this game. And unfortunately, in the yep. AFL or the VFL back then, you missed out in '78 playing for North. But, but what about this one? A couple one? of years later, in the, the night flag in the Escort Cup, as was known back in those. You're part of this team. What are your memories of uh, being part of this team on another lawless night? Oh, another lawless yeah, no, night. What well, a great ground. Why did we get rid of it? If it wasn't Kerry Good who kicked that goal, kicking for goal, then we would have missed by Mark because he had no idea what was going on. But it was a lovely kick. Michael Gardner, as we saw, received the medal. Take us through the whole uh, the judging. <laughs> the leader. Yeah. The build up. Well, there were five judges, <laughs> five, five people from the media who were uh, voting uh, on that, 3 2 1. 
And um, they, they as, go. as they vote for? <laughs> Well, it, most had either uh, Andrew, no, Andrew Embley or Ashley Sampy as the likely winners. Yep. And as I was walking around the They're ground... Five of them down, Sampy is good. Yeah, OK. Uh, <laughs> by, by a vote. Yeah. And uh, with absolute due respect to Ashley Sampy, you know, I've seen him a few times <laughs> since. We were walking down... And Graham Wood was the uh, state manager of, uh, of uh, CB at the time. Oh, and I said, oh, Woody, I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure. I, think, I reckon the garden has been the one that's probably had the influence when it was really important. So I thought, oh, well, excuse me, I just said, oh, bugger, I'm just going to go with uh, <laughs> Gardner. So normally, like nowadays, I have nothing to do with that and I don't, I don't say anything, and, which is the oh, right thing. And, and they just... Oh, yeah. and, so well, the, the judges the, thought it was Ashley Sampy, right? Yeah. And you just decided that Michael... With Michael... Embl uh, Michael Andrew Embley, very close. And you said, no, no, Michael Gardner. And so those judges probably would have thought that they had, you know, that they yeah. had some sort of say. And they didn't, did they? Do you they? remember there was a... I think, I think your word was, it's my medal. I'll do it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a bit of that already. There's, There's a bit of that. That's, good well, That's hey, the way it should be. But hey. There was a bit of that and there was uh, there was a few media people on the Monday and the Tuesday that... Um, <laughs> I've never had so many phone calls in my life. And in fact, <laughs> one of the opposition stations did ring and say, we need you to come on and uh, talk about this. And I thought, you've got to be kidding. Yeah. Uh, I really, It wasn't being clever. And in fact, uh, I thought, well, one bloke... Actually, one part, one fellow in the media called me uh, racist. Okay, well, yeah. that's, and that's and that's, and that's, and that's not where on. it got to. And yep. I thought this is quite pathetic. So, yep. Yep. needless to say, I have never voted <laughs> or said anything different since. But yeah, I like I like that Gardner wasn't even in the top two. <laughs> <laughs> it was Sampy and Embley. <laughs> Individual awards are very nice, but it's about premierships that we play this game. And unfortunately, in the yep. AFL or the VFL back then, you missed out in '78 playing for North. But what about this one? A couple one? of years later, the in the night flag in the Escort Cup, as was known back in those years. You're part of this. So what are your memories of uh, being part of this team on another lawless night? Oh, another lawless yeah, no. night. What well, a great ground. Why did we get rid of it? If it wasn't Kerry Good who kicked that goal, kicking for goal, then we would have missed by Mark because he had no idea what was going on. But it was a lovely <laughs> kick. Blighty wanted to have a shot for goal. But he might have made he, it He too. probably yeah. would have made it. Yeah. But it was pandemonium. But um, a great win, so one great of the few grand final wins. Back then, by the way, back in the day when a night grand final meant... Big deal. Um, it was a big well, deal. And, Ross... Uh, topped off with you being named uh, as uh, best on ground for the yeah. evening. Yeah. Yeah, right. you've well, let's go down to Jack Edwards. I think he has uh, Gloss, uh, Ross Glendenning under control down there. Is that right, Jack? That I have, Louis. And he's a very, very happy man. Congratulations. You've won the Thorn Coloured TV from Canberra. And I wish you all the best for the rest of the season. Thanks very much. Hey, that's a big... A magnificent honour. Well done. A magnificent honour. Now, uh, just a couple of a couple of short, sharp uh, follow-up questions. Did you you obviously had a good game, Ross? Did that I was okay. Thought? I wasn't that good. In fact, my daughter has told me a few times. My oldest daughter, who knows a footy a fair bit, uh, she said, "Dad, <laughs> was there any chance you might have got in front and actually got the footy <laughs> and not play from behind?" Oh, really? And the bloke I played, played on, Butch Edwards, actually was a very good player, and he played better than I did. I thought, <laughs> right? Or Kevin Morris. Well, who, Kev's, well, Kevin Morris just, for Collingwood. Yeah, because he came from Richmond. Very good player. It's interesting. It's interesting because we have some yeah. uh, we have some raw footage here. This is raw footage. It's never been seen before. Really? Where the commentators, led by Lou Richards, are casting their votes oh. and are deciding who was the best on ground. Have a look. Wow. This is, in, this is off air. Have a listen. Wow. Yeah, so I don't know. Who are you going for? I'm going for Morris. I might go for Morris. Who do you? Who's Jack Edwards going for? Glenn yes, yes, Al. Who do you go for? I went for Glenn Denning. Who did Doug go for? I would have I went for Glenn Denny. Well, uh, I'll go for Glenn Denny. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Because, That's humble. Because Lou's a Collingwood man and Jack Edwards was a bit of a North Melbourne favourite. So uh, I've tried to watch the replay on that TV. Uh, but it but sounds... You mean this one here? <laughs> <laughs> you mean this little baby? Of course. It sounds, it sounds though, Ross, from that, from listening to that footage, that's never been seen before. That that Kevin Morris could quite easily have won, yep. been awarded best on ground. So if, if he rings, should I give him the TV? Well, this well. would be. If he was here now, what would you say to him? Um, I would say, look, you're a bit stiff, mate, but I've got it, and I've still got it, and yeah. I've converted into a flat screen. No. <laughs> well, he's here now, so you can tell what? him yourself. Get out here, Kevin, Kevin Morris. Morris. Hello, <laughs> hey, two-time 
premiership player for the Tigers. Been yes. there for the Tiger Tigers. Champ. Great Collingwood player, of course, in your career. How lovely to have Kevin Morris on the show. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. I have to ask, what have you been watching for the last 35 years? Have you, have you just been sitting at home on the couch staring at the wall going, that was mine. That was mine. Did you, Phil, you, you, you got, the, got the telly on the day? Monumental travesty of justice. <laughs> um, we'd lost this 1979 grand final with the harms ball over the boundary line yeah. by three metres. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, umpires didn't see that. Yep. But this is the first time I was aware they were deaf as well. <laughs> <laughs> they did not hear the siren that went for three minutes beforehand. Oh, that's right! The ball came completely oh, out of our back line, through the centre, and Bridie kicked it down to the foot. The kids were all on the ground when they, um, he took his kick. Kevin, it's good to know that you don't hold a grudge. <laughs> um, Who was the best on the ground? <laughs> best on the ground, B.O.G. <laughs> Well, Come on. you've heard the commentators. All modesty yeah. aside, uh, yeah. who, who, who deserved it? Look, all I know about the game was uh, the club had promised us half the money for our end of season trip and we're all running around calling out, Hawaii, Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the siren went, Hawaii, Hawaii. Uh. No, obviously, had you won this, you could have watched Hawaii 5 0. <laughs> <laughs> Ross, are you going to do the right thing? Uh, are, you going to, are you going to right a wrong and go over there and give this place? Let's uh, do it. Kevin Rose, there it is. There we go. It's a moment in time. There it is. A magical moment. A great moment. Thank you. Yeah. Travesty. <laughs> Hey, Kevin, you know what you do? You could probably go and watch MKR. I think it's still on. I think, I think, it's, I think it's still on. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations, Kevin. You're a, great, you're a bigger man than uh, yeah. the rest of us. Ross, thanks for coming hey, on the show. And well Thank done you. to you. Thank you so much, Ross. Ross Glenn Danny and Kevin, Kevin Morris. A moment in time has been arrived at here on the front bar. I feel grateful we've been here to see it. Mick's multi on the other side.